Micah from Inkwise Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vehicle wrap concept template in Photoshop. And we're going to be using this 2015 GTR. So we're going to go outside and take a picture. All good Photoshop starts with a good picture. There we go. There we go. All right, so we've opened our picture up. Here in Photoshop, um, if you don't know how to do that, then you probably won't be able to follow this tutorial. Um, anyways, uh, just use the settings that came with my phone. Didn't change anything. Um, it'll be fine. It's high enough resolution. Um, I am using Photoshop CC um, on a PC, so all of the quick shortcuts I give are going to be Control and Alt. If you are using a Mac, remember Control is Command and Alt is Option. All right, first thing is the picture that we chose. Um, I chose a profile simply because it's the easiest to work with. Um, if we look at a picture of a GTR, maybe internet, you gonna work? No, there we go. Uh, and the reason why we didn't pick a picture like this one, okay, we didn't take a three-quarter picture, is uh, this template's going to work for all sorts of graphics. So, like, if you want to put words or something on there. Um, and the problem is, is you have to match the graphics like this one. See that line is straight? You have to match the graphics with the line of the body. So you have to work with your perspective and a bunch of other tools, um, which is a little bit more complicated. If you do want to see that, uh, leave a comment, let me know. I can show you how to do a concept on one of these three-quarter pictures, whether it be a front one or back one, whatever. Um, but we're going to start with this because it's the easiest. Um, so first thing we're going to do is outline our car. We're going to choose our lasso tool. This is the polygon one. Uh, L is your quick shortcut. And we are going to trace around um, the car everywhere that um, we can wrap. Um, so pretty much everything that's white. Um, and you just click and drag and you go around. Uh, when you do get to the wheel wells, we're just going to skip right over them. And I will show you a real quick way to do those uh, when we get to them. And there, I'm going to trace this out and hit it in a time lapse because sometimes this can take a minute. La -da -dum. All right, so we've got the majority of our car outlined. Um, obviously, we do have some mistakes. We got down here, we um, missed a chunk there. And then up here, we included this hood vent, which is not going to be wrapped. Um, it's OK. Don't worry about it. Um, using the same tool, if you hold Control, sorry, Shift, not Control. If you hold Shift, you'll see a little plus sign um, added up next to your tool. And what that does is that will allow you to add into your selection. So you do shift, click, and you can let go of shift after that. And then everything that you select will be um, added, just like that. And then on the other side, if you hold alt, you'll see a little minus sign that'll pop up. And now we're gonna use alt, and we're gonna take out um, all these simple shapes. We're gonna take out those reflectors, um, these grills, this headlight, stuff like that. All 
All right. So that takes care of the majority of it. We're going to go over how to do the wheel wells and anything that's round like this. So we still use our normal selection tool for anything that's just, you know, straight lines, pretty easy. Um, but to get around that round curve, um, it's going to take a while, a lot of clicks, and it'll be really annoying. Uh, so we're going to go what in, into what's called quick mask mode. Uh, Q is the shortcut to do that. And as you can see, everything just kind of went red. Uh, everything that is red is not selected. Everything that is its original color is selected. The wonderful thing about quick mask mode is it lets us use our normal Photoshop tools as selection tools. So we can go get our paintbrush, or B, um, and then we just size it down to our circle and click. And I'm not on a layer. And then click, and it blocks it out right there. Um, quick selection, you only have two colors. You have black and white. Uh, one color selects, X switch colors and the other one deselects. So wheel wells makes them super easy because you just size up your brush and click around the wheel well and there you go, Bob's your uncle. It's all done. And one more. So Q will exit the mode again. Um, as you can see, we've selected all the white. Everything that's going to be wrapped, everything that can't be wrapped or isn't going to be, it has been cut out. Um, now we're going to make a new group or folder, and we're going to label that graphics. And then we're going to make a mask on that layer, this little button here. And then click him and it makes a mask. And a mask, everything that is black is hidden. So if we make a new layer under there and we just make it white, there we go, it's white. Um, now obviously it's just a block white. We started with a white car, um, but there's no detail. There's no shadows, there's no texture. You can't see where the door hinges are or anything like that. Um, and so we're going to make our next layer. Um, white cars are the easiest to work with. Um, you'll see why. So we're going to reselect that and we go control. If we hover all over our mask layer, you see that little box with the dotted lines and then click and it selects that, reselects our mask here. Now if we go onto our car layer and we hold control J, okay, what that does is it basically cuts out that selection. So now we have the car cut out. We're going to drag that to the top. And we are going to put that on multiply. Now you didn't see anything that happened because we got a white background. What multiply does is it multiplies the shadows. Okay. So if we go back to normal here real quick. Okay. Here's our car. And now we turn it to multiply. See how the car just got darker because um, it multiply all the shadows. So then if we turn on our white layer underneath, we're back to a white car. Um, if you use any other color of a car, red, black, green, blue, doesn't matter, um, we need to turn it white first. All right, so I realized that I didn't do a great job of explaining why I needed to have a white car or why if you start with another color, you need to turn it white first. Um, so we're going to go over that real quick here. So I'm going to make another layer and I'm just going to put a gradient on it. Instead of green, I want red. Okay. And instead of white, we're going to use black to represent our shadows. So we have red, which would be color of a car, red, which black, which would be obviously the shadows. Um, now when you use another color of a car and you turn it to multiply, there you go. So you see it makes everything that's colored that overlay and everything that's black, you know, you can't see through, um, which it multiplies the shadows. And since there's zero shadows here, it just makes the color transparent. So if you were to do this with another color and you put your image back there, it would do that exact same thing where it would turn everything that shade. 
uh, versus if you did it like just with a white one. So if we got rid of that one. With a white car, so we're doing the exact same thing. There's our shadow. There's no shadows. And then we turn it to multiply. It lets all of the colors come through with what they're supposed to be. And then everything that's in shadow just gets blacked out and darker like it normally would be. Uh, that's why you have to use a, a white car or make your car white first, just in case. All right, back to where you were. All right, so our template is basically all done. Um, now all we have to do and what this template allows us is to bring in any graphic or image. We're gonna cut out my logo here, copy that. Paste it in here. Uh, pixels is okay. Doesn't need to be a smart object. There we go. I'm gonna size it up. About so. All right. Now we take that and we drop it underneath our graphics layer. Now, every time we need to move this or adjust it, it automatically gets cut out where we can't wrap over the wheel wells, windows, you know, headlights whatever um, and we can move it around so if we did want to bring in a full image because we're using a Japanese car we have to use anime that's like mandatory there we go um, looks like it's on the car um, now this isn't how to make the actual artwork to be put on a car obviously this piece here you see gets chopped off it's too small um, if you'd like to know how to do that leave a comment below I can show you guys how to make the actual artwork that we uh, can make to be put on a car um, there we go and that's how you make your template now if, if you just, just wanted a color say let's see we just want a, a color and we've got a bright green um, there you go we just got this green um, drag it under there cars green um, then you're allowed you can mix and match so if we take my logo and we put it on top there we go now we got a green car with a logo on it. Um, that's pretty much how you make the template. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, please like and comment. If you would like to see anything in how I go about making art for the wraps, how I make about making the wraps, printing the wraps, let me know. Um, it really helps me out. Uh, like and subscribe, and we can make some more videos. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.